thanks. Thanks. Oh, I got one in. Hey, Paul. <laughs> you know, there's moths everywhere, and I feel like this is how my GCP building is almost like uh, disorganized all over the place. I don't know what's what. Huh, I'm surprised that you find it that way because I got a my GCP building set up with an easy uh, report. Really? Yeah, it's all through Data Studio. You haven't used Data Studio yet? Uh, not yet. Can you show me? Yeah, let's jump into a live demo. All right, let's do it. Hi, welcome to Take 5. My name is Ivan Ramirez, and today joining us we have... Nick Orlov. Cool. So Nick, tell us, what are you going to be talking to us about today? Well, billing is a really complex uh, subject, so what we're going to do is uh, make it easy with visualizations and Data Studio. All right, well, let's get started. Cool. Okay, so what we have here is a Data Studio dashboard uh, that has been fully populated thanks to some of our amazing uh, ski team uh, engineers. And what you can see here is that all of the metrics from a BigQuery project have been um, coming into this billing dashboard and we have quite a few tabs over here that allow you to select specific resources. So for instance, on the main dashboard tab, we can see what billing has been like over the last day, the last month, overall spend. We can go into GCE, for instance, let that load up. We can see how many instances we have that are driving a specific amount of spend. We can filter it by project. We can filter it by labels. Makes it really easy to use. So what we're going to do is basically show you how to create this in just a couple simple, simple steps. And first to do that, let's uh, check out this blog post um, that's been fully, uh, like I said, documented. So this can walk you through all the steps of doing it. And in the bottom, What we're going to do is go ahead and open up this Data Studio dashboard that they've pre-created and make some modifications ourselves. So before we uh, make a copy of this and start ingesting the, our own GCP project data, what we're going to do is import that billing data itself. So it's a couple step process. First we'll go into BigQuery and create a brand new data set. So create a new data set. This is going to be our billing demo. Go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to go into our GCP Cloud Console. So from here, you can see the standard hamburger menu on the left hand side. We'll go ahead and click Billing and click Billing Export. Now, as, as you can see, I currently have Billing Export disabled. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click Edit Settings. We're going to select the GCP project that I want to uh, export the billing data from. We're going to do Nick Oil of Dash Demos. And then we're going to go ahead and select the data set that we just created a second ago billing dash demo so that we can start uh, basically uh, filtering and sending the data to the BigQuery demo data set. So we'll go ahead and click save. And there we go. We now have billing uh, export enabled. Now just so you know, this process does take um, a few hours. I've seen it as long as 24 hours. Um, so uh, what we've done on the back end is we've uh, fast forwarded and uh, ingested some of the data ourselves. So what we can do is we can go into BigQuery but I'm sure that 24-hour period uh, varies depending on the size of the project and things like that. Exactly, right? yeah. So the, the size of the project absolutely um, is, a, is a large variable here. So let's go ahead and see what the table looks like uh, when, when that uh, period is completed. So we'll go ahead. And, uh, I have this existing project called GCP Spend. We'll click on this billing export. And you can see that there's a whole lot of data that it starts capturing. And so if you were to query this data set, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So what we're going to do instead is import it into Data Studio. So we're going to go ahead and say, make a copy of this report. And what it's doing here is it's asking you to specify uh, what the original data source gets mapped to for the new data source. So what we're going to select is our BigQuery um, GCP billing export here. And we'll go ahead and, and uh, address these two items that relate to BigQuery itself and a little bit of a later uh, take five. We'll go ahead and click Create Report. It's going to go ahead and load itself. And uh, we'll see that there's uh, one pop-up that says that you have some data sources that haven't been imported uh, correctly. Like I said, we'll address these at a later um, take five. We'll click Maybe Later. And immediately, we already see some value. So we can see that um, the primary dashboard is loading up. Um, this is uh, my specific project. We can see that um, I have some spend in GCE, BigQuery, Stackdriver, etc. I'm still able to go into all the specific categories and products. Go ahead and click on Compute Engine again, because I like looking at those metrics to see how much I'm spending. And we can still break it up by project, labels, um, etc. Uh, and we can even add some more metrics here and uh, adjust some specific things that we can get into later on if you like. 
Okay, this is really cool. So uh, obviously this dashboard has been already made by the ski team, so anyone can take advantage of this. Absolutely, right? yeah. It's uh, fully open sourced out to everyone. Um, the blog does a fantastic job of walking through each of these mm -hmm. steps, make it incredibly easy to follow. And now, uh, obviously, all of our customers have different specific needs that they want to look at, uh, specific metrics for their own projects. You can customize that, even create your own dashboards, right? This is just an example. Oh, it's so easy to create your own dashboards. Basically, you can go in here, uh, click add a new page, and uh, you're allowed to uh, decide what metrics you want to start ingesting. Mm -hmm. Um, all those metrics, whether they're billing or BigQuery or GCE, et cetera, and do a lot of complex analysis. Okay, awesome. Well, Nick, this was awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Ivan. Thank Appreciate you for having it. me. No problem.